Hey everyone, hope you're having a fantastic day. I just got some goodies back here that I'm really, really excited to try out. Uh, I got a battery pack, the EcoFlow River Pro 720. Uh, it's a 720 watt hour battery pack uh, with a whole bunch of ports for powering electronics. We are putting this in our minivan build. Uh, so very excited to try it out, uh, accompanied with our fridge. This is an Alpacool CP40. Uh, it's a 40 liter 12 volt or 120 volt fridge. And I am going to hook this bad boy up to this and see how long it'll last. Kind of do a little bit of an experiment just to see how much juice we can pull out of the EcoFlow and how long the fridge will last. Uh, unfortunately, these are under monitored conditions. Uh, we have climate control in the condo right now. Uh, we are looking to use it in Mexico, so it's gonna be a lot hotter. It's gonna be very different, but we're fully aware of that. But let's get this plugged in and see how the battery does. Here's a picture of the back sticker for people who need to know the specs. Uh, as you can see for DC rating at 12 volts, which is what our battery is, it's looking to pull uh, five amps, so that's what we can expect, but that's just for the people who want to know the specs. Now it looks like there's a slot here to separate this compartment. It's not a dual zone fridge, uh, but I'm not sure maybe this is meant for like keeping some things dry. We didn't actually get the box that contained whatever goes here, so I'll have to contact support and see what that's about. But it looks pretty sturdy. We got, you know, these uh, bezels or whatever. The insulation is about an inch and a half thick. Uh, the seal, rubber seal looks pretty good. Uh, it's got some sponge to it. So the hope is that it closes and keeps all the cool air in. Moving on to the EcoFlow. Um, it's a pretty cool little thing. I charged it before this, so we're at 100%. Uh, it's got a little display for uh, input, so if we're charging it, and output, how much power is being drawn. There's a little light here with some variable settings. That was a SOS marker, but I didn't want to blind you. Uh, I'm not sure what this does, but I'll look into that a little bit later. Uh, there's a USB-C port with 100 watt out. Uh, there's a couple of other USBs and a fast charge. This right here is just a standard DC car outlet, which is what we will be using, uh, and some other outlet ports as well. And onto the side here, there, uh, there's a button for an inverter, and there's three AC outlets. Uh, this is an expansion port because this battery, uh, you can add on an additional battery pack. If this isn't enough juice, we can buy another one and plug that in just to give us, I think the uh, expansion pack was 430 watts. And over on this side, this is the input. So under here, this is for AC charging, so like wall charging. This one is a, a overload protection, so that must be a fuse. Uh, and then right here is a solar input, and they gave us solar connectors so we can charge this via solar if we need to. I'm so excited to plug this in. I did want to get a bigger battery, uh, but Rosa always reminds me that everything is best in moderation. So we're going to try this out, 720 watt hours. I have no idea how many hours we're going to be able to keep the fridge cold uh, at these temperatures, but we will, that's what we're doing right now. Let's, let's plug it in and find out. And uh, I liked the option to uh, be able to have an extended battery pack in case we wanted more. Because of course, I always want to buy the fancy stuff. I like to be prepared. I like to, you know, make sure that we're safe. But, you know, you got a budget in some cases. And this build, this minivan build for us is more of a, a um, a fun experiment to see kind of how low we can go with some of the comforts of home, like having a fridge in our van. All right, let's get it plugged in. 
Okay, we got it plugged in. And now uh, let's see. Hmm. Make sure you press the button to turn it on. Oh, we have life up here. Okay. We're just, this goes all the way down to negative 20 if we want it. Oh, you can hear it's turned on. The fan isn't too bad. It's noticeable, but that's gonna be at our feet. Um, so, and underneath a mattress, so I don't think that's gonna be a huge deal. But yes, okay, so we have it set to Celsius. Uh, it's set to negative 20 because I plugged it in AC to see how quick it would get down there. And I think it took about 40 minutes to get down to like freezer zone. So, but we're gonna actually bring this up to refrigeration zone. So we are gonna set it to four degrees Celsius. Uh, fridge temp is at or below four degrees Celsius, just to keep things in the, uh, out of the danger zone. And we don't buy meat or dairy. Uh, so when we're refrigerating things, it's more just to keep them cool. Um, more just, uh, you know, veggies and the occasional like soda water if we're feeling like treating ourselves or, um, you know, soy milk for the coffee. The soy milk doesn't really, doesn't really spoil as much as like normal dairy or meat. So we're setting it to four. So the time right now is 11.45, 11.44. Okay, so it's 11.44 p.m. It's currently 26 degrees. Now it's calculating the wattage. And right now, as you can see, it's pulling about 60, it's like jumping from like 54 to 60. So it's right in like the 59 watt output. Um, now it does a really good job of estimating the amount of hours something will run for. Uh, I know when I was charging it, it told me there was 17 minutes till it was fully charged, which is pretty cool. And one thing to note about the fridge, you know, it, it, it only being able to power that for 13, 14 hours that it's saying on here is that fridges, you know, they charge up, they run, and then they get to their certain temperature and then they stop. And if it's hotter out, then the fridge is going to keep having to kick back on because the insulation obviously can't keep up as long, but in temperatures like this condo, you know, it'll, it'll come up to temp or go down to temp and sit there until it goes up like a degree or two and then kick back on. So it's not, it doesn't mean that this fridge is only gonna last 13 hours on this battery, but the compressor will only last 13 hours. Again, depending on temperature. So we're gonna see, it's 11.45 right now. We're gonna leave it on overnight and hopefully it's still running in the morning and <laughs> because we wanna keep our food longer or food cold longer than 12 hours, but uh, I will keep you posted. Maybe I'll throw uh, maybe I'll throw a soda pop in here. Let's do it. Some bubblies. So I'm gonna put a bubbly in here, one of each flavor. That way Rosie gets to pick which one she wants, and I get the other one. And I'm gonna have a blackberry one right now. See you in the morning. So I just noticed here, like we unboxed this uh, before and I didn't really have time and I don't think they sent us the instructions for it, but there's two different modes. There's max mode and eco mode. I'm going to set it to eco mode because like I said before, like we don't have a lot of very temperature sensitive items. So I'm just gonna give that a flip and see if that actually does anything. So 60, 55, Okay, now the output's dropping down. 43, 53, 44. How do I turn this back on? Oh, okay. 47, 58. Yeah, so it, it's, the output's dropped significantly. Obviously, it's not gonna cool down as fast, but uh, we're gonna see in the eco mode, and then, and then maybe I'll do it in the max mode another time just to, Check it out and see how it goes. But 
And so just another thing to point out about this battery. Uh, so it's 720 watt hours. Uh, we're using the 12 volt, so you divide 720 by 12, and that's 60 amp hours. So when we had our battery set up in our last van, we used lead acid batteries. Uh, we used 200 amp hours worth, so it was two different 100. So this is uh, obviously significantly less power than our last van, but there was a lot more electronics and little peripherals in that van and it also wasn't as efficient of an electrical system as this might end up being so just for reference in case you were wondering because oftentimes people deal with batteries by the 100 amp hour especially in custom van builds uh, lithium ion is very trendy right now because it's safer and it's more efficient this is lithium ion just in a different setup with its own enclosure and inverter and ports and it's less than one of the battleborne lithium batteries it's 60 amp hours as opposed to 100 and Lola's waiting so patiently for things to cool down she's just licking a blanket and Dixie's licking her joints because she had a nice walk. Oh, don't say that word. Oh, whoa. Okay, just a quick update here. Um, so the fridge got down to four degrees Celsius. Uh, I'm actually going to drop that to two degrees, um, just to be safe. Uh, but it just hit four, just turned off. So quiet. The battery here now says that we are at 96%, so it took 4% to get down to temperature. It says 99 hours, but that's obviously because there's no power draw right now. And the time is 12.22, so that took, uh, that took 38 minutes? 38 minutes to get from room temp warm, 26 degrees, uh, down to four degrees, but it went from 26 to four degrees in half hour. Yeah, we started at 1144. Okay, so why do you want to switch? Hi, <laughs> why do you want to switch it from four degrees to two degrees? Uh, just looking on the website, like Health Canada recommends that the average fridge temperature is between three and five degrees, but that it should be set below four. So maybe I'll just go to three degrees. Because we don't even have meat and dairy, so. I told them that, <coughs> but uh, just for the sake of. Okay, for sure. Let's for the heck of it, because we're feeling wild on a Friday night. We're feeling wild. Okay, excuse these boxes, but I wanted to show you this right here, because this is coming up in a video soon. Check it out. This is our Adder room. Look at it. Isn't it beautiful? So it's a tent, right? Get this, it's a tent. It fits on the back of the van. There's a screened in porch area for shoes and it's a big tent. Look, Dixie, look at how cool this is. Dixie just wants me to crack it open and so she can run around in it. And then there's a canopy over here and you can sit under it and there's shade. I am so stoked. Look at how much fun these guys are having. Look, that's gonna be us one day. And look, that's gonna be us one day. Oh my gosh. Super stoked for this, but stay tuned. Okay, we're calling it at three degrees. Okay, three degrees. Oh, it's done. it just hit three. Okay, so it dropped from four degrees to three degrees in three minutes, so 12.25. So, I mean, right now our current temperature inside is uh, we're set we're we're at 21 degrees Celsius. Uh, so obviously, like sometimes in the heat down in Mexico, uh, it, you know it gets up to like 30 degrees. Um, I think that this is a very very nice little isolated test experiment. And I'm not really going to pay too much attention to how much this kicks back on. 
Um, I think that I'm going to make sure that it stays closed though and I'm gonna stop opening it even though I'm really excited, but it is cold in there. Um, and we're gonna leave it for the night and see what the battery's at tomorrow morning. This is usually how we go to bed. Rosa gets too tired on the couch and I gotta carry all the girls one by one. And then Dixie, although she's like still a hyper puppy, she's like, I need to ride to bed too. And then I gotta carry her up. <laughs> oh my gosh, you weigh like 70 pounds. <laughs> All right, so quick little update. Fridge is sitting pretty, nice and cold. The battery right now is at 69% so we're just over we're just under a third of the way through the battery uh, and it's been 15 and a half hours so I mean theoretically we'll probably get 45 might be able to stretch it for two days uh, so that's pretty good uh, ideally I was you know hoping that it, you know we would have more juice so it could run longer but this is gonna work for us because the cool thing about this battery pack is that we can charge it while the car is running, just plug it in through an inverter, or we can use the AC cord and bring it into a coffee shop and that battery is gonna charge up in, to 80% in an hour, I read, which is pretty cool. So an hour and a half at a, at a coffee shop or something and should be you know, relatively good to go for another couple days. Um, or there's also solar charging ports, so we could also charge it via solar. But that's the first update. We're, you know, half a little over half a day in, and things are looking good so far. Quick little update. We are going to a barbecue slash baby shower. We are gonna bring the fridge and the battery pack with us. It is 30 degrees outside today, so it is a scorcher. And that's going to be some good real life simulation for our van setup because we plan on going where it's hot and we want to put this thing through the ringer and see how it does. So currently we are sitting at 63%. It is 331. Also, I put a warm bottle of wine in there, which brought the temperature up. Yeah, it's currently nine degrees. Uh, I put some ice packs in to like mitigate that, but um, it says nine degrees for some reason. So I don't know if the wine glass is like on the temperature sensor, but we'll see how it goes. It's 30 degrees outside. It's super, super hot. So we're pretty thankful for this fridge. This is our baby shower gift. Okay, so it is 10.04. We're getting close on 24 hours since we turned it on last night. We were at the barbecue for about five hours. It was out in the sun, 30 degrees out. Um, currently, the fridge is at three degrees. And let's see what our battery power is at. Guess, we haven't checked yet. 47. You think? Yeah, I think it's 46. at- 46. Yeah, you're- um, I think it's going to be at 56. Oh, 49. 49. Okay. But still, so I, we could, I'm guessing, get two days out of it then? Two full days? Two full nights, anyways. And then there's always the option to turn the fridge off at night if you're not opening it or charge the battery. Mm -hmm. We'll uh, update you in the morning. Hmm. <laughs> Okay, so it's 3.02, we're heading into hour 40. Um, we are at 13% battery. The fridge is still running, but I have to step out for the evening. So I hope that it still lasts until the time I get back, but I'm gonna crack a soda here, a little buble, just to see if that's like the right temperature. I should have probably done this yesterday with the ones we had in there, but when I was at the barbecue, I pulled one out and it was actually like kind of a little frozen, uh, like a little slush on top. You know how when the pop gets too cold? 
So, um, anyways. Oh, that's cold. Yeah, that's that's fridge temp right there. Okay, so hopefully the fridge still la the battery still lasts. Doing great so far though. I wasn't expecting to get like I was expecting to maybe get a day and a half, but it'd be great if uh, I come home around midnight and it's still going. But I mean, it also s stays cold even if the battery dies. So it's like it can still last longer. And then some people turn it off at night too to s conserve power. So it's not running, but I don't know. We'll see. Oh my goodness. Okay, we are at 1%. Fridge is still at four. It's probably gonna come up to temp uh, within the next like half hour or so. And then the battery's gonna call it quits. Uh, it is 9.03. So we're coming up on 46 hours, which is not too shabby. Um, but I'm gonna take the little pooches for a little stroll and see if it's still on when we get back. Down to the minute. So the fridge is on, uh, just popped up to five degrees, so it's heading down, but as you can see, it's kind of cycling between 12 and 18 minutes. Uh, I like that it's accurate in like predicting how much based on the draw, which is pretty sweet. Well, I just had a long, long day. Uh, it's still at 1%. It's still at 1% and it still says that there's 16, 12 minutes remaining, which is like exactly what it was doing two hours ago. It's coming up on 1145. So this is the 48 hour mark and it's still going. So we cracked two days, pretty sweet. Uh, but I'm so tired and I need to go to bed. So uh, I'm gonna leave it right there and check on it in the morning. I expect it to be dead, but we'll see. So I'm gonna call it a night and get some shut eye and I expect it to be dead tomorrow when I wake up, but we'll see. Okay, we've officially hit 0%. Uh, the fridge, as you can see, is not getting power but everything is still nice and cold.